Hi guys, my name is Hatem, uh, and this video is going to be about how to draw without a pen tablet, so using a mouse. Uh, a lot of people starting out don't really have access to a pen tablet, so I thought I'd uh, share my way of uh, animating without a pen tablet. Um, and the, the way people usually use a mouse is by pushing and dragging along in a, in a relatively straight line. We're not really used to using the mouse uh, in circular motions. I mean, there are not th that many uh, applications where you have to like make a circular motion. So, in a way, we're not really trained to do those mov movements. Um, and you could certainly train this. I mean, there's, I'm absolutely sure there are some people who can draw as well on paper as they can with a mouse. Um, but this requires a lot of practice. And I'm not sure if, um, if that's good for your wrist or your arm, because like a mouse is not designed uh, to do this. Um, but that's not the point of this video. By the way, I will be showing you guys how I animate with a mouse uh, in a way where you don't really need to practice. Um, and this is also in a way where uh, you spend as much time as you would have done with a regular pen tablet. Um, keep in mind, this is the way I do it. This is a particular style. Um, feel free to take it over and mix it up however you see fit. The basic idea behind this style is to use the line tool to approximate a curve like this. Obviously this gives a lot of pointy edges, but a lot of drawings do well with just straight lines. A particular artist that comes to mind that does amazing straight line art is Vlad Gusev. I hope I'm saying that right. Also known as Robot Punch. I've put a link in the description to more of his art. Okay, so I drew three rectangles to illustrate the difference between the pencil tool the brush tool and the line tool when drawing curves with a mouse. So here I'm drawing an ellipse in each of the uh, rectangles. And the brush tool and pencil tool turned out to require a lot of control with, in my opinion, worse results. A few tips for when you are doing this in Adobe Animate. Keep your fingers on the control and the Z key. If you hold control, you can select a pointed edge and move this in a pretty straightforward way. Also be sure to deselect the magnet button below your toolbar. This snaps edges to other edges but I found this to limit my control over when I draw my lines. And that's pretty much it. I made an example animation in this style and it took about two and a half hours, without requiring any cleanup. This is in many cases actually much faster than if I animated this by hand. But as I've said before, you are restricted to a particular style. See what works for you? You can perhaps combine this with curved edges by holding control and curving a straight line like this. Or perhaps try this as a challenge. If you tried drawing or animating with a mouse before, let me know how you experienced it. Um, if you tried this style, let me know as well. I hope this was helpful and if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.